Hey guys, Sam from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm here on the Ocoee River with John from Creek Fishing Adventures, Yo. catfishing Chris here. Um, and I just made an intro and I realized I didn't even talk about my new kayak. So this is my first trip out on my new Crescent Kayak Sholey. I When this kayak came out, it really intrigued me. It looked really cool. It's supposed to be like a really good river kayak. Uh, so I finally purchased it. Like it's pretty hard to get them right now. I had to be on a wait list. Um, and then they called me saying they had one ready after like a couple weeks. But we're on the Ocoee River. It's got a lot of spotted bass and it's got a few largemouth too, I think. So I'm gonna be throwing the Berkeley Chapo to start off. That's what I always throw in the summer, like when I'm river fishing for bass. So hopefully that'll work and hopefully uh, I'll get some fish in my new boat. All right, here we go. Getting into the new kayak for the first time. I do want to try to stand on this, but probably won't do that in this current here. All right, wow. The first thing I noticed about this kayak is I'm sitting way higher than my other kayak. It's nice. So that, that alone is pretty nice. I mean, wow. I'm like way higher. I feel like I'm in a boat almost. In a bigger boat anyway. A kayak is a boat. Dude, I, saw, I mean, I just saw like three or four spotted bass. All like definitely catchable. Yeah. Oh, I have one. Didn't even know it. On the Helgram right. Oh, not bad. First fish. Okay. Don't come off. Don't come off. First fish in the new boat. Not bad. I saw a, a ton of these spotted bass down there. Um, they were kind of going after my lure. All right. I might need to get out of this tree real fast. All right. Solid first fish on the Helgram right. Probably like a 14 and a half incher. Um, right after I got him, my chopper got stuck on a tree. It's about to happen again. Okay, good. It didn't happen. But uh, anyway, not a bad little fish. Let's see how long he is. And the cool thing about this kayak is it does have a slot for a, uh, a board, but it's a 26 inch board and I have a 30 inch board right now. So I need to get a shorter board and then it'll just lay right there in front of me at my feet, which, which will be really nice. All right, he's 14 and three quarters about. Yep, 14 and three quarters. Solid start. There's one last look at him. I, I might need to uh, move that camera. It's a little bit sideways, but let me release this dude. Oop, there he goes. Oh, right there, are you kidding? There's one right there behind me. Right behind me on the chopo. Get in here, bud. It's a little guy. All right, I, there, ooh, he fell into the boat. Little spotted bass, this might be like a 10 incher. There was a little one that hit my lure, uh, my chopo, as I was reeling it in, I just cast it behind the boat and he nailed it, so that's fun. Another little guy on top water. This one's definitely smaller. But uh, anyway, I'll release him. I think I have a little one on. Yeah. Oh, he's running at me. He's not He's not a little. Oh, I got a pretty good one. It's not bad. Oh, God. Might need the net. Oh, I should have the net more ready. Oh, come on. Come on, bud. Please don't come off. There we go. Got him the net. It might be like a two-pounder. Pretty solid. I think the Helgramite might, might catch more fish today. And maybe bigger ones too. All right, solid third fish of the day. Probably like 16 inches. Hope he doesn't flop, but that's 16 and three quarters. All right, third fish of the day. It was 16 and three quarters. Solid fish. It's gotta be over two pounds, I would think. And uh, hopefully, John just reminded me, if I get an 18 incher, I can get a tarp award. So I think that's very possible today. There's definitely some uh, good spotted bass in here. So go ahead and release it. Probably gonna kick off like really hard in a sec. I guess. Yeah, I was trying to get like, you know. A little one? There's one. Another one on the Helgramite. Yeah, I think it's safe to say I definitely have a lot of confidence on the Helgramite now. It took me a while. It took me over like two years of fishing with John to. Yeah. 
All right, another small one, but we will take it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to stand in my kayak. I haven't tried yet. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty stable. It's like a, it's like a little bit more like kind of tippy like, but it's not like, I don't feel like I'm gonna fall in. There's a tiny spot of bass that was just gripping onto it. Ew, some more right there though. There's a few little ones over here. Got one. Oh, we're in a real shallow section of this river now. I have not seen fish for a while, but under all those trees, I mean, it's literally like a foot deep maybe. Um, I saw a few of these little spotted bass. And there he goes. Oh man, come on. I literally just watched him bite. There's so many right here. One's gotta bite it. There's like five of them. Got one. There we go. Oh, he came off. There's so many right there. I could probably still catch one. Oh. Oh, I have a fish. What in the world? Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention. Pretty good. Oh, it's a good one. There's other big ones with it. Oh, it's pretty good. Ooh. I would just throw in there. You might get one, another one. They're kind of... Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, come on. Come on, don't, don't come off. Oh, he got out of the net. There we go. Got him. All right. I think this is bigger than the other one I caught. Uh, yeah, he might be 17. Solid fish. Now I don't even like, I didn't even notice a fish had this. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. He might be a little, he's gonna be kind of close to 18. Yeah, that's a good one. He's right at 17. All right, I'm weighing this fish. He's probably about two and a half, would be my guess. All right, two pounds, four ounces. He's two and a quarter, 17 incher. The second, like, you know, really solid fish of the day. Go ahead and release him here. There we go. Make sure he's good to go. Whoa, yeah, he's good. Got one. Oh, come on, I had no hook set on that one. There's another one. Little guy. Oh, and I don't know if that one counts. He hit the front of the boat and fell off. I think there's definitely some more fish under there. I had a bigger one on right there a second ago. Ooh. See a couple bass. Let's see if this fish eats it. Got him. Dude, that was so cool. I was standing up and I saw this fish. The camera could have gotten that because the water's so clear. That was really cool. There's another one. I could probably go catch that other one. I'm gonna release this one and then paddle back up there. It'd be so loud if one hits it, I feel like. Oh, oh, a little one. Oh, he came off. It was pretty small, but. Oh, uh, no way. Oh, he's on the tree. Yeah, I was like, I definitely had a fish. I see him down there. He's still on, but he's on the tree. He's literally like sideways on the. He's literally stuck to the tree. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. I see the tiny little bass stuck to the tree. Oh, he got out, he got out. Uh, oh my gosh, now I'm stuck somewhere else. Here's another one, a little bass just grabbed it. Got him. Oh, and there's a limb. It's a tiny little guy. There we go. At least we're up to like eight fish now, I think. Eight fish landed, I've had a lot of others bite and come off but it's probably the smallest bass I've landed so far I literally just have on this size 
that got hooked and ran me into a branch. Like it was hooked in his lip and then this part was in the branch and I just saw the bass like against the tree and he ended up coming off, but <laughs> no giant there. But hey, that's another fish. There's some cows over here. It's watching us. There's at least three, I think. It's hard to tell. Definitely two. Ooh, got one on the chopo. A little one, R right up against the wall. Oh, little spot. All right, just caught this one on the chopo right off this rock wall. I think my camera died as soon as I got it in the boat, but tiny guy, but we'll take it. All right, well, we just got off the water, um, brought our kayaks up the ramp. And the last little section there, there was like a real slow section, really deep, that had a lot of fish in it. I saw some giant largemouth. John caught one that was like four and a half pounds, um, but I couldn't really get anything to bite in that section. So we called it a day, but nonetheless, there's a lot of action today. And I do, I will say, I do really like my new kayak. It is very easy to stand out of, and it does paddle really well. Um, there's a few things like, there's rod holders. There's two rod holders um, on the inside of the kayak, which I, I thought was a really cool feature, but they're too skinny to fit spinning rods, which kind of stinks. Um, but I'll probably talk about, or I probably already put a video out about this kayak. I just haven't made it yet. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I'll catch you all on the next video. Thanks for watching.